So, this next move that we're going to talk about is the headlock, side headlock escape. There's, there's several ways to escape a headlock. Um, primarily, there's two things that the aggressor is going to do. Well, oh, going back before I continue, why do we cover headlocks? Because it's a natural thing. You see two fights, you see people get in a fight anywhere. Chances are somebody's going to grab the other person in a headlock. Whether their intent is to just hold you, or punch you, or take you to the ground. One of those three things are going to happen. Okay? Um, so you, you see there's three different ways that they're going to grab you. So there's different ways that you're going to defend it. In today's move, the guy is not trying to hit you because believe it or not when they're trying to hit you is when it's easiest to it easier to escape because in order for him for me to hit you I have to let go which presents himself with a great opportunity to escape okay that's another lesson today's move I'm grabbing you the offenders grabbing you but he's grabbing you in a wide base maybe he's not really interested in taking you down to the ground for me to take him down I would probably bring my knees together, which would be a different defense. In today's move, he's just here. He's holding you here. Strong guy is here, he is here holding you. And for whatever reason, he's holding you. Maybe his partner is taking your wallet. You can't get out. There have been documented cases where people are getting robbed. Because the bad guys are learning this stuff also. And they'll grab you here in the headlock. You can't get out. You have no idea what to do. Okay, the partner's taking your wallet, taking your phone, whatever. So how do you get out of this? First thing I'm going to do, make sure that he's not trying to hit me. If I could, I want to prevent him from bringing my head down. But you're hanging out at the alehouse, talking to a friend or a chick. Here comes ex-boyfriend, surprises you grabs you, boom, brings you down, okay, big strong guy, all right, from here, first thing, I got to worry about this strike here, if he tried to punch me, that, nah, perfect, I'm going to react to that punch, but he's just trying to hold me here in place, so from here, I'm going to this hand here, and go to the waist, and now this hand here, I'm going to cup underneath this knee that I'm facing, all right, and now, if you guys notice, there's a leg between, my leg is in between his legs. I'm gonna shoot this leg through there. I'll do it from this angle so you can see. From here, I'm gonna shoot this leg through. Notice, that was a second. Notice, when, I, when we went down, I'm gonna take him sideways, away from me. You don't want him to fall on top of you. So you're gonna be here, here, your leg through and as you're falling tuck your elbow you may be doing this on concrete in the parking lot you don't want to bang your elbow so you're gonna bring your elbow inside here and roll him sideways he's still holding on to your head not a problem we're gonna deal with that in a second immediately turn to your knees and establish a base so he's here we'll do it this way now Look. Now I'm going to turn to my knees and I'm going to establish a base. Why is this important? Because in reality, he still, he, feel, he still thinks he has me. He's going to want to roll me over. And although we have a defense for that, as I always say, it's not easy to get out big strong guy has you, it's not easy to get out. Even when you know how to escape, it's not going to be easy. It's got a lot of weight, muscle on top of you. Okay? So, we want to prevent him from rolling us over. So, here. Boom. 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 Base myself. Now, handle this way. I'm going to bring my right leg over. I'm going to try to slide this heel over here, but sometimes you can't just do it yourself. So I grab and I slide it in. 
hands firmed on the ground. This back knee, I'm going to slide it behind his head. Okay? I should end up. Stay there. I should end up like this. Relax. Okay? Now from here, I'm going to bring the blade of the, the bone here, which I'll refer to as the blade of my arm, across the bottom of his neck. I'm going to make a fist and I'm going to grab my wrist. I'm going to drive this into his neck straight down at an angle as my head is going to point that way, guys. Not straight up, not that way, towards the back of his head. That's where the leverage is to break that grip. From here, boom. Once I break the grip, it's not over. He's going to keep fighting. There's a lot of things I can do. If I'm doing police work, I can come back here, lock him inside here, and start to roll him over. Roll over, sir. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. You see your other hand? Bring your other hand behind your back. And go into a handcuffing. Easy as that, as that can do. However, you can if you wanted to. Once you break the grip, you can leave if you wanted to. Chances are the fight's going to continue. Or you can decide to finish him off if you wanted to. Hand straight to the ground. Foot over. Right foot on bar. If you wanted to do that. A lot of things we can do there, but the primary focus is to get away from that headlock defense. So I'll do it one time now, final time, in full speed. Yeah. <clears throat> Questions? No. On to one.